Hello YouTube viewers, welcome back, it's Dan from TV Box Company. This is going to be a very quick tutorial on demonstrating how very simple it is to use IP Vanish. Uh, if you don't know what IP Vanish is, it's a VPN service provider. Uh, we recommend two uh, service providers, but if you want to head over to the uh, website and have a look, in fact, uh, let me just, uh, I'll put a link in the description to the website and also uh, to IP Vanish. Um, if you go onto the website, which is uh, tvboxcompany.co.uk, um, click on VPNs from the home page and then have a read through that. It's, it's quite informative, give you an idea. It's not it's not meant to be rocket science, it's, it's there to try and help you understand what uh, a VPN service is really uh, about. It serves for multiple purposes. Um, main one with Kodi, I think nowadays, is uh, hiding all your activity from your internet service provider. Uh, it's your prerogative to do so. Um, there's a load of uh, letters supposedly going out to uh, different people that have been using torrents just lately uh, on a big crackdown um, by some of the major sort of corporate companies uh, trying to stop uh, streaming. Now, they're having a problem because obviously streaming isn't illegal because you're not actually downloading the full movie, you're actually streaming it. So there's a very small part of the movie actually stored at any one time on the uh, in the cache of the box or device that you're using. Um, but a lot of it's scaremongering. Now, uh, you don't really want to give them any excuse, so I'd recommend uh, a VPN service. It's a secure handshake between two servers. Uh, I think it's a 256 bit encryption, which would most probably take a computer about 70 years to work out, I think. Um, and it's pretty military grade uh, encryption. So basically, if uh, your service provider opened up a packet of um, one of the streams that you, you know, you're doing to your, in and out of your box, uh, all they would see was a load of zeros and ones and absolutely made no sense of it whatsoever. So um, again, I, I'm not going to, I'm not trying to um, inform you on what a VPN does for this video, just really how simple it is to use um, with IP Vanish. So I'm just going to come back to the home screen. Uh, first of all, I just want to apologise, it's a very old box that I'm doing this recording on and the reason why I do it on here is because I can record directly on, onto the screen. Um, capturing it basically on the box rather than having to sort of capture it on the PC which makes it look very slow, sluggish and slow in comparison to uh, using this old box uh, with recording software on so just bear that in mind. Um, it's, it doesn't make any difference any of this, like, it's all old stuff but it's just giving you an idea. Uh, IP Vanish is the app. Once you're subscribed um, you can actually download the app off their website or the Play Store or um, I think it's on uh, the iOS um, app store as well. Uh, if you've had a box from what's already been installed, uh, if it isn't installed or uh, any other any of the above that I've just mentioned, you're struggling to get it, give me give me a shout and we can uh, upload the, uh, the actual app for you if you like. So providing the the apps on the box, I'm not going to go into how you install it. So like I said, if you've had a box off it will automatically be in there. You'll be greeted with this uh, screen basically asking you for your username and password. So I'm just going to put mine in now. You, Obviously, I'm blanking it out for obvious reasons. This is uh, my own uh, personal VPN. Now, I could have just left that information in there, but it would skip the screen. So I just wanted to just show you a login screen. Once you tick remember me, You'll never have to enter this details again before you do a reset on the box. Okay, so I'm going to click done. Now, so that's just connecting to uh, their uh, site now. Now you can go through a tutorial which tells you basically what I'm going to do, so I'm just going to skip that. Okay, now I've got this blocked out because this is my actual IP. Uh, it's showing you the disconnected, the status of the connection at the moment. Um, I'm connected to the internet, but I'm disconnected away from their server. So at the moment, everything I do from this box on the internet is clearly visible by the internet service provider, get in, etc. Now it's also shown I'm in the United Kingdom. Now this is how simple it really is. At the moment, if I click connect, I would be in the United States as far as my internet uh, IP um, address is concerned. But if you're, uh, if you're using it for Kodi, you're most probably better off if you're in the UK using a UK VPN, just basically for ping time. It's going to be a lot less latency on your connection if you're using a local uh, server. Um, and 
You can leave it on best available city or uh, best server. Again, you can pick one if you wish. If you're near Liverpool or London or Manchester, etc., you can click one. I personally just leave it on best of, and best of both there. All I do is just change the uh, and leave this on United Kingdom. Uh, and you click connect. Now, as you'll see, and that's my IP at the moment. I'm not going to show all of it. You'll see the end one. Once it's authenticated, give it a second and the IP will change. There we go. So now all of a sudden, uh, I mean, I'm still in the UK, but I've got a different IP address. So first of all, anybody wanting to track me would struggle now because uh, obviously it's given an IP address to somewhere else, not sending it back to my house. And also the internet service provider, if they open the packet up now, it will be fully encrypted. So uh, the information there will be just total gibberish to them. Uh, this layer is telling you how much bandwidth you're using up and down. Uh, obviously, that's the connection there. It's just gone through with very little uh, actually activity on the box at the moment because obviously it's not doing anything. All right, if you wanted to, for example, if you're geo locked, in other words, if you wanted to open something that's only available in America, we would just come down to here, select the country. Again, there's all these countries. Uh, click United States of America. Again, best service. If you needed a um, an IP from a particular um, city. Let's click New York, for example. Best server. I mean, obviously, I just leave on best server, best available server, but you can have a flick around. I dare say it's slightly different in speed between a few of them, but just click connect. There we go. Now, all of a sudden, now I'm located in the United States of America, New York. So, as you can see, it's as easy as that. Now, obviously, the majority, the biggest thing about this is the security, really, for most people with VPNs. Um, everything's going to go down that way, down this route, as far as I'm concerned. Um, but have a read on the website, I'd recommend. And this is just really demonstrating. All you have to do now, obviously, you just exit out of there, and then you just go to Kodi. Um, just come across here. So basically now, as far as Kodi or anybody that's tracking it uh, concerned, I'm an American. No reference to me at this address whatsoever. And uh, hopefully it's been of some use to you in showing you how very simple it is to use uh, IP Vanish and uh, we're going to leave it there. Thanks for watching.